today i am discussing the important part of the organogenic chemistry again which is chikler nata catalyst chikler nata catalyst first of all introduction chikler established the process of polymerization of olefin in presence of dialkyl aluminum which is called chikler catalyst but scientist nata developed the process by using by using aluminum alkyl this is a dialkyl aluminum with transition metal compounds typically tncl4 and this mixture that means dialkyl aluminum with tncl4 is known as chikler nata catalyst oh what is the chikler nata catalyst so chikler nata catalyst is the mixture of dialkyl aluminum with tncl4 taken in a hydrocarbon solvent it is a brown mixture and it is a heterogeneous catalyst this efficiency of the catalyst is more than that of the single catalyst dialkyl aluminum next the example here this is the ethylene molecule the ethylene molecule in presence of chikler nata catalyst in presence of 50 degree centigrade temperature 50 degree centigrade to 150 degree centigrade and 10 atmosphere then high density polythene is formed another example this is the this is the propylene in presence of chikler nata catalyst and the same condition then polypropylene is formed now we have seen the mechanism of this process now the mechanism this is very important the mechanism of chikler nata catalyst now we have starting the material is tcl4 the cl 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 the one site is basically vacant coordination site and l is the unspecified ligand now in presence of dialkyl aluminum here we designated as rm m means aluminum and r is alkyl that is ethyl mole this is a c2h fiber here the m is al li mg then yeah now in presence of dialkyl aluminum that is rm then one cl is liberated and that means mcl is liberated and here the oxidation state of the titanium is plus 4 but here the oxidation state of the titanium is plus 3 state the titanium 3 is the d1 system and d1 system is basically labile center and it is the essential condition for the active catalyst of this compound and here the r is incorporated in the vacant coordination site and cl is liberated and so the vacant site is denied in the next step the olefin with the addition of olefin then the interaction takes place this is the interaction interaction takes place between transition metal and pi electron of the olefin and that is the interaction the transition metal and olefin and then the migratory insertion takes place take the migratory insertion takes place to the tic bond this is here the tir bond and that's why the monomer molecule that is RC is double bond CH2 inserted to the TIR bond and this is formed and this vacant position site is generated for attacking that repeat monomer that is the next monomer and the next monomer attack to the this vacant position site and then it is finally to migrate it to the TIR bond and to form the long chain polymer and ultimately the final product is obtained and here this polymer is basically linear and stereoregular polymer and next slide we totally discuss the mechanism totally discuss the mechanism the CC bond is inserted to the TIC bond adaptive center this is borderline the chain growth polymerization finally enters the final transition shape the dead polymers are formed and these reactions also resemble anionic polymerization that lead to the formation of linear and stereoregular polymer we have discussed the totally discussed in previous slide and now the role of LC2H5 the pool 3 what is the role of this is the dialkyl aluminum the dialkyl aluminum reduces TiCl4 to TiCl3 we have discussed in slide of the mechanism here TiCl is the both reduces TiCl4 to TiCl3 and Ti3 is D1 system and 
Also, I have repeated this liability is an essential condition for the catalysis. This is the role of LC2H5 carbo3. As a result, the titanium 3LT, that is the C2H5, having some vacant condition site, is remaining bound as the surface of catalyst. And this is the stereochemistry of the polymerization, the important. And this polymer is the isotactic configuration. And this configuration is a syndiotic configuration. Now, what is the isotactic configuration? When each carbon atom possesses the same configuration, here the carbon, the upper, the upper plane hydrogen is the side, and the below the plane methyl is the side. This here hydrogen is side, upper plane, and the below plane is the same configuration. Each carbon atom have possessed the same configuration. This polymer is called isotactic configuration, and this is a stereoregular polymerization. Stereoregular polymerization, and this is a syndiotic configuration. Each alternate carbon atom possesses the same configuration. This carbon atom. And this carbon atom, the same configuration, alternate. As I have this carbon atom and then this carbon atom, the same. And this configuration is called syndactic configuration, and this is the isotactic configuration. And now the application of Ziegler meta catalyst. Ziegler meta catalyst is a versatile reaction for producing the different types of polymer. First of example, there is for the production of high density and low density polymer. It's a high density and low density polythene. Production of thermoplastic polymer, polybutylene, polypropylene, and carbon nanotubes and nanocomposite. And next, the limitation of Ziegler meta catalyst. It is not applicable for some monomer. That is, we cannot produce the polyvinyl chloride polymer by the presence of Ziegler meta catalyst. Acalate are also another example. That means polyacalate are not formed by the image of Ziegler meta catalyst. Thank you. If any problem, then you will comment in the comment box.